Hello and welcome back to this series of videos on how to set up an, an ESP guitar that's got a Floyd Rose treble system. In the last video we did the neck relief, we adjusted the truss rod um, and in the video before that we changed the strings. In this video we're going to have a look at the bridge system. When we looked at the guitar in the first video the floating bridge system was quite a way off and was going to need adjusting. Now we We've not adjusted it, but we have changed the strings. So that's obviously a different gauge. We've also, because we've set the neck, when we actually look at the floating bridge system, it's pretty much perfect. So we're not gonna have to do the adjustment. It needs to, to be flush with the body of the guitar at both sides, and this one is. So that's a perfect setup, although we've not done anything. If it's moving back like that, or further forward like that, then it would need adjusting. But we're gonna show you how we would set up the, uh, the floating bridge system. The first thing we need to do is to remove the tremolo arm because we're gonna turn the guitar over and we're going to remove the plate that holds the springs. So we're gonna remove this plate here, which is where it houses the springs for the floating bridge mechanism. So there is our floating bridge mechanism. We can ignore the spring in the center. It's really these two outer springs that need to be adjusted. Um, and we do that by turning these two screws here. Now, if this were our floating bridge system, if it was moving towards the back, if that's the body of the guitar and it's looking like that, then what we would need to do is we would need to decrease the tension. So we would loosen these off. Now, the way that we would do that is one quarter turn, one quarter turn, turn the guitar over, tune everything back up again, have a look at where the the bridge is sitting and then if it needs more another quarter turn another quarter turn on each screw turn it back over and re retune every time because every time we move we make an adjustment to this we will need to retune if the mechanism was in that position so it's going this is the body of the guitar and it's going like that then what we would do is we would tighten it. So we would do the reverse of what we would do if it was if it was decreased. We'd increase it. So we quarter turn, quarter turn, reach you, and you keep going. And it takes quite a while to actually be able to do this and get it right. So don't get frustrated with it. It does take time. So quarter turn, quarter turn, reach you, evaluate, look where the bridge is another quarter turn, another quarter turn, etc, etc. The only time you would need to adjust one of these separately is if one side of the bridge was higher or lower than the other. So I hope you found that useful. It's a short video this time because we didn't have to do the adjustment, but I hope you found it useful. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you like to be notified when my next videos go live, ding that little bell. See you in the next video. Thanks very much, bye bye.